I know you've spoken about this, is that after the conflict, after the argument, right, you have to repair. Yeah. You were asking a question. I thought you were you were asking in a way that that I that I didn't like. We went back and forth, back and forth, and I think, and again, the reality is that in order to to come back more quickly, right, it's like it's like it's like a, a muscle that if it's based upon you know real love and real respect, even if you have a, a significant argument, when you come back, it's much easier to come back from it. And I think again, so so we had that argument. It went on. I forget how long exactly. Maybe half an hour later, an hour later, we had a much uh, more uh, calm conversation about it. And I think we came to a to a good place. Uh, you heard me. I heard you. And the the what I wanted to share. And again, and maybe I'm sure our listeners are probably enjoying hearing about the the argument. But for me, as I think back now about that, it's not a moment of friction in our relationship, but rather almost a loving memory. That was the time, <laughs> not for you, not for you, the time that we really, you know, went at, went at each other verbally. And then we took the time. Yeah, I wasn't even that upset, after, by the way. It was kind of like... It was a little silly. It was a little, a little, little silly. silly. Yes. But, but it was an argument. And it was necessary, though. I, I, yeah, felt, I, I, I felt stronger after it, I think, together. Yes. And like, like I said, for me, probably one of the most important indications about whether you've repaired and more importantly, whether you're relationship is built on a foundation that can handle necessary conflict is how quickly you recover and, re- and you have yeah, to I take the time to that. recover.